Oh, hey there. How you doing? I haven't made a video in ages. It's been forever. I think the last video was the video when I was chasing Gar, wasn't it? Yeah, but anyway, um, I was going through some old uh, photos and then that last night and that reminded me that I had a bunch of footage on my camera that I hadn't done anything with. And uh, it's footage from um, kind of random periods throughout the summer, so <clears throat> actually it's all footage <clears throat> post the GAR video, so uh, end of June through August. And uh, I decided that I should just make a little bit of a short remembrance video of the summer and I guess just use up the rest of the footage that I had from it. And uh, so these clips are, are they are in chronological order, but they're not exactly in, like in the same area or anything or related. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, I spent the summer down in Georgia and Florida working as a surgeon technician for some graduate research projects. And that, let me tell you what, it was an incredible position and uh, I, I loved every day. And um, I'm sitting here right now in <clears throat> the middle of, well not middle, the beginning of March, starting to look really, really look forward to my summer. And uh, so I was just going back through the pictures and remembering all the, old, the good times uh, that I had this summer and uh, getting kind of excited for graduation and moving on and getting a cool job somewhere. I do have one lined up. Uh, I'll be working in Tennessee for the National Park Service in the Great Smoky Mountains. So really, really looking forward to that. It's going to be incredible, I think. Um, right now, yeah, I'm just in school. Haven't been doing a whole lot of fishing or anything, so I haven't made any videos. And, uh, I don't know. I thought it'd be nice to post this one, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, it brought back a lot of good memories, and it made me really miss it, but I'm so beyond grateful to have had this opportunity, and also to have taken the position, because, I mean, to be honest, so... Uh, it was a little bit, uh, I guess, scary to go down all the way to Georgia and Florida, drive all the way down there from Wisconsin and to work with people that I didn't know and everything. But it was a leap that I took and I'm so grateful that I did. So with that, I hope you enjoy this final installment of video from my Georgia and Florida summer. And I hope you enjoy it. I sure did. See you later. Just caught this bonnet head. How cool is that? You're a little tired. Put up a good fight for my light rod, light tackle. Wrong way, buddy. Sorry. Go that. Try that going that way. I think he's getting it figured out. New species, beautiful sunset. <clears throat> That's what I call a good night. I'm out here fishing tonight and I just got a hardhead catfish. I do believe, which is a new species.
Get them off the hook now. Ever heard of the Great Fin Red Horse? Apalachicola Red Horse? Muxoximus Buck? Undescribed, endemic only in the Apalachicola River drainage basin. Well, I'm on a mission today to try and find this red horse. Only one person on roughfish.com has ever caught one. Uh, I, I didn't get Species Hunter to work last night, so I don't, I don't know about that one. But I know very few people have ever caught this red horse. It's undescribed. It doesn't even have a species name yet. Muxostomus but And I'm going up about an hour uh, north of home to try and find this red horse. Alright guys, I just showed up to the river now. Um, the water looks really good. I think the rain must have been south of this location, so... The water still looks really clear. I see some some little fish and some bass. It might be largemouth, um, but I'm still gonna try and catch one just to verify that it's not something cooler than that. But yeah, so I'm gonna get at it now. Um, try and catch some fish. Giant bullfin. Oh my god. Damn guys, so I guess I'm going to be fishing for both in here now too. I haven't caught one yet. Ouch. Ooh. No joke, it was pushing 30 inches. It was huge. Crazy. So I just caught this little minnow. I'm not sure what it is yet. Maybe it's a new species, I don't know. Well, I just did a full send that I knew wasn't gonna end well. Six pound test. Little minnow on a jig. There was a bowfin, the same bowfin that came up um, right next to this big old tree. Another, it is massive. And I threw it in front of him, knowing I was probably, had no chance at landing it. He took it, set the hook, took off, took, went towards the tree, I tried to stop him, and the line broke. But I did a full send, so... Caught this guy. Don't know what it is, but it looks like it could be some kind of clupeid. be getting it what the hell I'm just gonna let you do your thing not trying to creep in on you or something you know this hot Sun Real feel has been like 106. I haven't been doing a good job with filming. Um, 
Well, here's a random clip of me and Tate's Hill, but this might have been the easiest new species for me to catch um, that I've had in a very long time. I literally threw in, took it right away, instantly. Warm mouth. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Not a new species, but a cool species. <sighs> the flyer. Flyer, ha, ha, There's nobody around me for miles. You know what? I was just kind of not doing a whole lot today, so I came out to Tate's Hill to do some fishing. Um, but I guess I'll just make a little video out of it. I wasn't planning on it. I'm just fishing these little ditches right here. Um, I've already caught like three warm mouth and a flyer. I might not catch any other like crazy species, but it's a lot of fun just catching all these little warm mouth. They're so freaking dark because of this tannic water. It's really cool. So yeah, I'll just set up the tripod. Short video. Let's see what else I catch tonight. Catching some decent warm mouth. Not bad. Yeah, like this is like hard, but on that big guy, man, that's so soft. Mm -hmm. 